Good morning. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Um, well, let's see. Uh, well, it's 22nd of June. Uh, the church calls for a strict fast today, which means that I'm not I'm not allowed any, if I want to participate, which I'm, I plan on participating in this fast, uh, not allowed any meat, eggs, dairy, or fish, or oil. And, and they're talking olive oil. Uh, I'm allowed to have any kind of shellfish uh, or vegan, but none of the rest. So that's what they call a strict fast. Um, they restrict your intake of uh, alcohol on the day. Uh, but I talked to my priest because I use red wine for the um, blood pro pressure. He said, by all means, use the red wine. So I still use the red wine on fasting day. You know, it, it was funny. Uh, uh, back when uh, back when Dad passed away, um, we thought we were exposed. Well, we were exposed to COVID-19. So we went right down to the doctor that uh, Monday. And um, my blood pressure was way up. And, uh, they, they tried to get me to go on pills, and I'm like, no, I'm not taking your pills. But what are you going to do? I, I said, well, I'm going to take red wine. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, so uh, I found that uh, if, let's say my blood pressure was up to, get up to 170 over um, around 90 or 90 or 95 or something like that, um, that I would drink a glass of, eight ounce glass of red wine. And 10 minutes later, it'd be down to 125 over 75 or something like that so um it does work on the blood pressure and so that's what i'm planning on doing um and if i can't buy the wine then i'll make my own uh, last fall now i um picked a gallon of wild grapes that were grown over here um by the insurance company there was piles of grapes everywhere i couldn't believe how many i saw over there and i so i went over and got me uh took two trips over there and got couple of crates full of grapes and brought them back and picked them all off the uh, stems and, and made a wine out of it. So uh, it came out really good. Uh, I shared some of it with my priest down to Bangor and he said, wow, that tastes like the wine that they have on Mount Athos. So that's the kind of wine the monks serve. And I'm like, well, praise God. Um, so I, I guess what I'm saying to you is that the blood pressure can be controlled by the, the resveratrols, I believe, that are in the wine. And there's probably other things in there, too, which I I don't quite know about. But um, I'm pretty sure that uh, I'm going to continue on doing that. I'm not going to go on to medication. You know, my friend, Randy, um, he started on some kind of cholesterol bill back oh, quite a long time, you know, quite a few years back. Um, then next thing you know, he's like full-blown heart attacks and... Um, now he's on all kinds of pills, and then the diabetes came in on him. It all started out with that one little pill that they gave him for the cholesterol. If there's an ailment in the body, <clears throat> there's got to be something out there in nature that's not patented that can help, can aid that. So um, I'm thinking, you know, I'd rather stick with what grows on the earth and, um, and like I said, wine. Um See, a lot of people will condemn me, and I know they will. I'll not say, well, he thinks he's a Christian. He's drinking alcohol. And, but there's a lot of judgmental people around. Well, let me tell you, um, first of all, the Bible don't teach that you can't drink. You, some of you might find that surprising, but it don't teach that at all. It teaches that you have a freedom to drink, but not a freedom to be drunken. Do not be drunken in wine, which is dissipation. And what I mean when you get to the point where you've lost your... You've lost your mind. You're doing crazy um, things that um, you wouldn't normally do if you were sober. You know what I'm saying to you? I don't condemn drinking, um, but I do strongly admonish anybody who drinks to be moderate with their intake and not be drunken. Um, now, uh, there's an argument going around, and I've heard this, uh, that Jesus uh, didn't really actually turn the water into real wine, but he turned it into grape juice. Listen, you know, people made wine back then, and they tasted grape juice back then. They knew the difference between the two. That That's just to say that the people in the first century are all a bunch of idiots. If you believe that, that's what that's really what you're saying. 
that they were a bunch of idiots that they couldn't tell the difference between grape juice and fermented wine. Come on, people. And, you know, and then you, you throw these doctrines in, uh, telling people, you know, the alcohol is evil and sinful and, you, and it's a sin to drink it. But then you never teach anybody anything about moderation, about being temperate and talk about being temperate. The point is to be temperate. The Bible said that the Ephesians were getting drunk at the Eucharist and not sharing that that they had with people that, that, were go, were, that couldn't afford it and were going without. Paul said, don't you have places, to homes to eat in? It's not because it's a sin to eat there or drink there, but it's a sin to be drunk, number one. And the, sin, the, the, the worst sin is to not share with your neighbor. You know, if Jesus made water into wine, he, it wasn't intended for people to get drunk and act stupid. You know, it was intended for people to drink and just be happy and have, have enough to just for what they need. Once you've gone to the point where you, you don't you don't even think, you don't know, you're doing stuff that you, that you know, wouldn't normally do, then you've gone too far. Simple as that. So as a Christian, I, you know, I'm not talking to everybody out there when I when I make these little rants, but I'm only talking to people to, 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 to whom the shoe fits. You're claiming to be a Christian. You can't be teaching your own doctrines. Because the, really, the, it, the, when you pick up that first glass of wine, what is the purpose for it? Are you are you just being sociable? Are you, are you trying to run away from um, anger? Because when people start, run, try, like uh, an example, people are trying to run away from anger, so they're trying to run away from it by being drunk. That's when the anger comes out. It becomes very apparent that they're suffering from anger. Uh, people that are, are uh, suffering with the condition of excess lust, you need to go right to the Lord with that because that will bring that out if you have too much. You've got to be real careful. It's a very slippery slope. And you know to whom I'm talking to. I just want to put it out there like that. I'm not trying to push this on anybody who doesn't believe. Uh, there's a reason why I won't, and that's because, uh, first of all, um, you know, nobody can say, even say the, the, the scripture, uh, and I will locate it if you wish, and show it to you in the scripture that says that um, nobody can come and say he is Lord except the spirit draweth. It's pointless to bang your head on the wall trying to convince people that the spirit hasn't opened their hearts to. Obviously, their hearts and their minds aren't open to that kind of thing, so the spirit doesn't draw them. So we need to pray that the Lord will wake them up. I guess. Okay. Well, anyway, I could rant all day long with this, but I won't do that. <laughs> Thought I'd just pick a few tunes here. Um, I'm prolific with these videos because I like to practice and I like to review what I'm doing, as I say, as I said many times. And so this just gives me an opportunity to be, instead of having a teacher sitting here, I can be the teacher myself. I can compare it and look and see, well, that just doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right. Or that sounds good. And so forth. Glory to God. Glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen.
that's as far as I'm going to carry that. This, don't want to make this video any, any longer than 16 minutes for crying out loud. Well, have a nice, blessed day, folks. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and under the ages of ages. Amen.